Hey guys, you are watching Droid Crunch. I am Lokesh Kapoor, and in this video, we are going to talk about how we can create a nice logo slider for your WordPress website. Many people use these kind of sliders to show some brand recognition, brand connections, and some reputation as well. Using brands logos on your website in your header or also maybe in your landing pages gives you an authenticity. in the user's mind so users may perceive that you are from a very very you know recognized uh, you know kind of a path so that makes uh, a lot of uh, difference if you use these kind of brands or logo sliders so i will show you how you can easily do that in your website using elementor so stay tuned and let's see how we can achieve it Before we begin, let me also tell you that I will also show you how you can do that uh, using dynamic images, and you can also do that dynamically because using that dynamically allows you to you know customize the logos at one place, and it will ref reflect on all the pages wherever you are using the widget. So I will also tell you about that. So first of all, let's see the simple uh, logo slider. I will create a page over here. i will name it logo slider and let me publish it i will edit with elementor now here on the panel i will search for the slider widget and will use this image causal widget just drag and drop over here and here all the options that you get i will add images I have downloaded the images already and uploaded it on the WordPress media library. So I can select them and create a new gallery. So this is my gallery for the logos. Just click on this insert gallery button over here and all the images which selected and in this image carousel and now you can customize it. You can set the resolution for the image. I will keep it to the full so that it looks better. and i will select on uh, the slides about five slides to appear like this customizing the width of the container will give me uh, a better feel and better padding as well so let me just uh, move it down and keep it to about 1200 maybe okay now coming back to my slider uh here is an option to slides scroll how many slides i want to scroll i will keep it to default so when it is scrolled it just scrolls one if i say two now you say that two slides you know are scrolled like you see two more logos when i click on this button okay so you have this option probably you have three slides to show over here like this and slides to scroll are three So every time you click on this button, all these logos would be new, like this. Okay, so this is up to you how you want it to, you know, look like. If you're using autoplay, uh, one slide to scroll, the default one, works the best because it will give you a nice animation as well if you use any. And here the image stretch option. I'm just using the no. You can also do yes, and the image would be stretched. So I don't want to stretch it. for the navigation you have option to select arrows plus dots arrows dots or none of these uh, i guess uh, only the arrows works pretty good if you're using on landing page or the home page because these dots uh, give you some barriers or uh, may not look professional in the landing pages as well so i will keep to uh, keep this to arrows at the moment you can also customize uh, the arrows from the style option where you can set its position inside or outside of the slider and you can also customize its size and color like this you can choose any color you can also use color dynamically over here you can use the global color set in your site settings of your elementor and here you can set uh, its sizing like this okay works well Here you can also customize the image, whether vertical line. You can set its spacing, border type, and border radius as well. 
like this and you can set its spacing uh, you can also set the link I will say media file light box I can also say yes so if I click on this image it will open up the light box like this you can set that or you can also opt not to use it uh, I will say no okay to link I can say custom URL as well or none okay all these options are available to you in this uh, widget this is the free widget and you get it in the elementor free version as well and coming back you can also customize its caption as well and now you have some additional options where you can set it to lazy load and it works best for the performance if you need better performance on your website then you have also the option to autoplay it and you can when you enable the autoplay you can also adjust the autoplay speed as well okay 5000 is equal to 5 seconds so i prefer to use uh, 1000 or maybe 1500 and in some cases 200 works well so this is like 1.5 seconds in general uh, or in technical now you have option to pause it on hover so if you hover on this uh, slider the animation will pause okay the auto will pause and you can also pause it on an interaction as well and then you have this option to infinite loop so it will continue to you know uh, slide or autoplay the slider even if uh, it reaches to the end of the image in the in the gallery you can also set its direction to which it will autoplay like currently it is left i can say right as well and it will be like this okay got it so you have both the options so you can customize all of these things and here i can so, so also set it to five and use it on demand and wherever i want this slider to show now let us also see how we can you know uh, use it dynamically right currently it is uh, in a static mode we are you know selecting the images from here for example we have to use the slider on different different landing pages and if it is not dynamic what you will have to do you will have to customize this slider on each pages and this gives a bad experience because you will have to do a lot of efforts if any uh, if it probably client requires a change where they don't want to show a specific logo in the sliders so now you'll have to customize all the pages on demand okay and to avoid these kind of scenarios you can you know dynamically use the images and even if the client asks to remove or add any logo to the sliders which are on different different pages of your website you can easily do that from one single resource of one single option okay so let me show you how you can do that so in order to make that happen uh, we shall need to use a plugin called ACF or any other plugin you can also use that allows you to create custom fields so I will quickly go to the fields group here I can add a new group okay and I will name it uh, brand logos okay and I will choose a gallery field So let us choose a gallery field over here and here we can uh, use the written format image array and give it a label for example logo slider images okay make it uh, more recognizable so you can understand what these images are and this also applies to this field group so you can understand uh, why you created this and other users of the website can also use the same now the location you rule you will need to you know understand that we can use it on the options page because options page allows you to you know set it globally and you can use it on any pages whatsoever so you can select option page or you can add a new options page say brand logos parent page uh, you can say nothing out of this no parent and looks good for me 
and now let's click on the save changes okay now once the changes are saved uh, saved here you can find this options pages and here we have brand logos okay you can add images from here brand logos add gallery and choose all these images select and update okay now come over here and delete this clear the gallery now we don't have any image over here click on this ACF gallery field click on it so ACF gallery field the key is brand logos options logo slider images so now when you choose it you are going to get all these images dynamically so now you can use uh, this dynamic option on all your landing pages now for example if i publish it any change i make in the field group or here in this brand logo section will reflect over there as well so if i for example delete all these images and keep only one image or two image in the gallery now if i you know preview it you can see that i have only only two images uh, in the you know slider these are only two images one or two these are repeated actually so to avoid this uh, you can you know customize it you can just keep it to five maybe or you can simply disable the infinite loop over here so when it is disabled the image wouldn't loop and now if i reload this page now you can see i have only two images so now you can customize the images in the slider using just this option page and just select and update it over here and you can reload this page and you will see that your page has been updated successfully so this is very very clear and straightforward way to achieve this kind of a logo slider a dynamic logo slider in fact so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new if it is the case please subscribe to my channel for watching more videos like this and see you in the next one thank you so much for watching